In this video, we want to cover the different types of SAT math problems involving absolute value equations that you might see when you take the test. And remember to watch till the end so you see all four examples. Let's take a look. So what is absolute value? So its definition is the magnitude of a real number without regard to its sign. So you might see these vertical bars with a number in it or an expression. That means absolute value. So basically you would take the magnitude of that value, you know, so the absolute value of five is five and the absolute value of negative five is five. So basically you just take the positive of what's inside uh, the absolute value sign. So this is an example SAT problem. It says the absolute value of four X minus two is equal to 10. What is the positive solution to the given equation? So how do you work this out? You set up two equations where you have negative 4x minus 2 equals 10. And a second equation where you have 4x minus 2 equals negative 10. So basically saying what's inside the radical either can equal 10 or negative 10 in order to give you the result of 10 outside there. So you solve each equation. Now, if you know which one would give you a positive result, you just do that one. If you can't tell right away, you can just go ahead and do both. So here, I add two to both sides. Get a four x equals twelve divided by negative four. X equals negative three. So that's our negative result. And here, do the same thing. Add two to both sides. Negative four x equals negative eight divided by negative four. And x is equal to two. So our answer choice A is the correct one. So remember just set up two equations, one equaling the positive of what's on the right side and another equation where the right side is negative. Now in this example, SAT problem, and basically the same thing, but it's asking what is the sum of the solutions to the given equation. So again, we need to set up two equations, x minus two is equal to five, and x minus two equals negative five. Now this is simple enough where you should be able to just look at it and figure what it should be. You know, it'd be seven minus two equals five, and negative three minus two equals negative five. Okay, but if you don't know that right away, just set up two equations and solve each one. So here you add two to both sides, x equals seven. And over here, x equals negative three. And then you need to add these together, seven plus a negative three, or basically seven minus three will give you four. So answer choice B. Now this one's a little bit different. We have a two out front there. And what we want to do is get the absolute value part by itself. So we're going to divide both sides by two. That's going to give us absolute value of X minus five equal 12 divided by two is six. So that just becomes absolute value of X minus five equals six. And again, you can set your two equations where it equals positive six and another equation where it equals negative six. Add five to both sides. And that's our positive result, so we can stop there, but I'll just show the other one. Add five to both sides. X equals negative one. So in this case, our positive answer, X equals 11. So answer choice B. Now our third example for our SAT problem. It says, how many solutions of the equation the absolute value of x plus 9 equal negative 4 have. Now what we learned about absolute value, the absolute value of something is basically going to give you a positive result. So there's no case where you know you get a negative 4. Okay, so that's impossible. So our answer choice A is the correct answer. There's zero solutions there's no value of x that will make the absolute value of x plus 9 equal negative 4. That result will always be positive. So I hope you enjoyed this video involving SAT math. If you want to see more videos, 
check out our channel at JDigital Tutoring. We have an SAT math playlist to help you get prepared for the SAT exam. And remember to like this video and subscribe to be notified of more videos or just to bookmark this channel. Thanks.